So you guys just finished the US version and the European version of MotorStorm. How does it feel? It, it feels great, actually. We're, working on a launch title is always a challenge. But then when you see somebody actually buying the game over the counter, it just it just feels fantastic. Do you think you can step things up from a graphical level? you think things can get better than this on the PlayStation 3? Absolutely. I think we've just about scratched the surface on PlayStation 3. Um, we had a very uh, we had a very limited amount of time to get this done, and you know we managed to get um, polished. But given more time, given more um, ex experience, I think we can do uh, much better than this. Now it's rare for a game like this to be released in Japan first, and then the U.S. and Europe later. What was sort of the thinking behind doing that with this game? You know, the U.S. is such an important market for this game. It's it's perfect for that territory. Um, so we wanted to get the game absolutely spot on and, and we knew that online was just essential and I think the feedback already is proving that that was a good decision. This game, you know, it has, has a lot of tracks, a lot of vehicles. What is your favourite vehicle class to drive at? Personally, I like the bikes, I think. I think the fact that we can do so much with the characters, uh, with the gestures as well, I mean, it's fantastic when you crash with the ragdoll and the character flying. Uh, that's cool. I love the racing trucks. It's something that we don't really have in the UK. The, the racing truck scene's massive in the US and, and they're just fantastically powerful, um, really, really big, um, and they're great for crushing bikes. Now, back at E305, you guys sort of unveiled this game with a kick ass trailer that you guys showed. How close do you feel like you've gotten to sort of meeting the, the target render that you guys released way back then? Well, I think that, um, you know, from the start, um, that, that target render was was absolutely fantastic for, for benchmarking us for, for what we wanted to aim for. I think at times when you're playing the game, you, you're looking at it, you think, wow, this looks, this looks better. You know, there's, there's those moments, and people have said that too. We, you know, people come along when you're playing the game, and, and, and they're like, is that a movie? The one criticism a lot of people have of the game is that it's a little thin on the modes. What do you say to those people who say that? Well, I think that what we tried to do with it being a launch title was we tried to really focus on the important things. Um, I think that we've got a, um, a real rich experience in what we're doing. Um, and we do intend to enhance that over time um, with downloadable content. We're going to do the obvious things. We're going to do um, tracks, um, vehicles, characters. Um, we're also going to do modes, which is cool. Um, and we're also, some of it's going to be, obviously some of it's going to be paid for content, but we're, we're going to release some really cool stuff for free as well. So, you know, it's really important to us that we, that this product is taken forward and it is a live project which grows. Um, I can't believe I just call my game a project. That's <laughs> terrible. We're trying to focus on what the, um, what the players want, listen to what they're asking for, and maybe get some of that in as well. MotorStorm has a lot of fans out there. It's built a lot of hype over the last 18 months. Uh, what do you have to say to all the people who are excited for the game? Um, just thanks for all the support and um, all the good ideas. Um, we do watch the forums, although we don't um, necessarily re reply on them. So we do know what people think, and we are interested. And we take that on board, and we try and do what we can to, to make the, the game as good as possible. But more than, more than that, please the fans.